Hello everyone. What's up guys? I hope you guys are doing great. Recently Apple has made a, a big announcement. It is all about iOS 14. Are you excited? I am definitely excited. In this video, we are going to find out what is new about iOS 14. If you are new to my channel, I am your host Nathan Philip and you guys are watching Nicks and Neans. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please consider subscribing and enable the bell icon so as soon as we upload something new, you get instant notification. Number one is Apple Library. Let's see what is it. This is your home screen. So your home screen is filled with a lot of applications and it is quite cumbersome to find where the application is lying. So they have come up with a simplified solution where you can actually group your applications based on the use and put them into different folders as you can see on the home screen. You can even hide your application pages those are pages which you no longer require you can just tap them select them and you can hide them so your home page is as simple as what you see on the screen number two is widgets this is going to be so much fun let's find out this year apple is launching widgets which is data rich and in different sizes and shapes based on your preferences. As you can see, they are data rich and they come in a variety of sizes and shapes. You can uh, tap on your widget and move it on your uh, home screen. You can place it anywhere you want, uh, on the right side or left side, but you can place it on the center of your phone. Your smart stack and tool that work automatically for you. In the morning, you can read the news. During the day, you can find out your meetings. And by evening, you can see your fitness call. It is cool, isn't it? Next is picture in picture. Now you can watch your favorite TV shows or movies without any interruptions. While watching, if you if you want to navigate through any other pages, you can minimize your TV screen or you can even browse through your notes while the video will keep playing and you can move it around on the screen any way you want. Next is Siri. If you ask for any information, Siri pops up and gives you the information you're looking for. And for instance, if you ask for weather update, a pop-up notification comes up and you can pretty much look up for anything and even on your grocery list can be updated. With the new update, you get a translate app. In this, you can have communication with somebody who doesn't follow your tongue by protecting your privacy. At the moment, it is available in languages like English, Chinese, French, German, Spanish, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Arabic, Portuguese, and Russian. So many more languages are expected to come as we go and it can listen to what you say and straight away translate next is messages now you can pin your most important conversations on the top of conversations so you won't miss out and you can have beautiful animation what we're going to see next is maps apple has incorporated guides in the maps which will give smart suggestions next is carplay 
a wallpaper function has been added to CarPlay and there are support functions that is also been attached to it right now. These are some major highlights with the new iOS 14. You'll find out more when you get hands-on experience during this fall, that's in September. That's all about iOS 14. I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be a game changer. If you have enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and let us know your feedback on the comment box. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please consider subscribing. I'll see you soon with the continuation of this topic. Stay tuned. See ya.